Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Teacher. How are you guys? Thank you, teacher. Very good. Very good. How was your day? My day is very good, teacher, but I am tired. Ah, okay. Very tired. Yeah. Why? Tell us. Uh, my day is, um, how do you say, um, muy ocupada? Busy, very busy. Yes, very busy. I, I was okay. very busy. Yo estuve muy ocupada. I was, I was very, busy. very busy. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. What about Carlos Fernando? How was your day? Hello, my Hello. day is... Fine. It was fine. Yes. What activities did you do during the day? Uh, only stay in my house, but uh, I am sick. Ah, are you sick? Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have the flu? Uh, yes, uh, pneumonia. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Yes. You need to take some medicines or antibiotic. Yes. You need yes. antibiotics. Okay, I hope you are fine. Okay, what about Elizabeth? How was your day, Elizabeth? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Tell us. I, I, uh, it's, it was, it was, it was very hard. Very Super hard. hard. Yeah. I was in meeting. I was uh, with out outdoor, and yeah. I I I asked uh, many dads of outdoor. Okay, thanks a lot. Hello, Tell teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How was your day? It's very good. Very good. Yes. What kind of activities did you do today? I'm preparing Juca fries. Oh. Are you chef? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What about Oscar? Yeah. Okay. How are you, Oscar? How was your day? Uh, everything is okay. It's okay. Excellent. What about Saul? Good evening, How teacher. are you? Good evening. How I'm are you great. doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, my day was a little tired because I was starting in the in the morning and I was reading in the afternoon a book in English. Oh, uh, yeah. excellent, Saul. And tell me, who is, oh, is your mother better? Yeah, my mother is better. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you for asking. You're welcome. What about Juan Eduardo? How was your day, Juan Eduardo? It's fine, my day is good. It's it was work. good. What kind of, of activities did you do today? Uh, today's activities work in, in this moment in, in the office. In the office. Ooh. Okay. Thanks a lot. What about Iris? How was your day, Iris? 
Teacher, ya, ya me preguntó. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> and then Daisy, Daisy Magdalena, how was your day, Daisy? Daisy, are you there, Daisy? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Uh, my day and good. good. It was good. Yes. Very nice. What about Sandra Janet? How was your day? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. I, my day was heavy. Because heavy. I do the, yes, in the morning, I do the laundry. Uh, I did the, the laundry. Yeah. Yes. In the afternoon, I did the chores, and I feeling tired. Okay, I understood. Okay, now what about? Let me see. Damaris, how was your day, Damaris? Damaris, are you there? Damaris, okay, maybe she's disappeared. What about René David? How was your day, René? Uh, my day is, it's been good. It was good. Um, it's been because, okay. because not finished yet. Yes. I was working in this, in this moment. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And then, okay, now no we need to, to practice about, about different favors. Did you remember what, what class we, we saw yesterday? ¿De qué se trató la clase de ayer? ¿Qué vimos? Indirect, indirect request. Indirect request and what else? Um, Can you tell me something that indirect request, please? Indirect request, introduce it to my chat. Indirect request uh, mm. using infinitives. Uh, yeah. Just in a question, a WH question, etc. Excellent. Another participation? For example, teacher, could yeah. you could you could you ask? Could you tell? Yes. What else? What else? It was an important class. Yes or no? Now, we continue with indirect request. Now, I, I explained you yesterday about the statement. This is our first example. Jeff, Tony is having a party. Did you remember this exercise or this information? Yes, teacher. Yes, Tony is yes. having a party. Indirect request introduced by that. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Here we, here we introduce that. What is the meaning of that? Que, right? In Spanish. Yes. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Yeah. Aquí nos dice que el that va después del nombre, después del sujeto, ¿verdad? Because this is the, the request, a request of models, yeah? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Now, we have imperatives. In this case, Jeff, don't be late. Is an order, is an advice, or what kind of sentence? 
is it? It's a order. An order. Yes, don't be late. Yeah, don't be late. It's an order, an obligation. There is no advice to. Or oh, can be, maybe. Don't be late. Yes, it's a kind of responsibility. Yes. And then is the thing is the an important thing, right? Here we have an direct request using infinitives. What is the infinitives? Is two, two. Yeah, two. Now, here are the examples. Jeff, don't be late. Can you tell Jeff not? To be late. Now, yes, no questions. Sophia, are you free on Friday? As I direct, can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? Sophia, do you have my number? Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? What is the meaning of Weather. I told you yesterday this information. See. Sí. 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 What is the difference between if and weather? Can you tell me, please? Weather is for a dude, and if is for a. ¿Cómo decir causa? Yes. Yes, can be. Mm. Yeah. But the difference is the weather is for okay. choice when you so you choice an answer like yes or no, or between alternatives. And then you use weather. When weather express doubt or choice between alternatives. Yes or no, right? Is the most common. W questions. Yes, when does the party start? Indirect, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Sophia, what time should I pick up? I pick you up? What time should I pick you up? Can you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? Yeah? ¿Qué dijimos ayer que era lo, lo indirecto? ¿Cuándo? ¿Por qué decimos que es una, una, una solicitud indirecta? Can you Good evening, me? teacher. Good, Good evening. evening, teacher. Good evening. Is, is, a, un, is a solicitud indirecta when the message is give the other, other person. The other person. Yes, it's true. Here, okay. Now, here we have some exercises about this information about indirect request in general. For example, here we have the first question. Do you have any idea where I can buy a ticket for the bus here. In this case, where? We use where. And then what is the meaning of where? It's done there, right? Yes. And here we have W questions, Jeff, when and what? La W question dijimos que son para preguntar, right? When, what, why, how? How often, what time, yeah, is for question. And then here, do you have any idea where I can buy a ticket for the bus? Which is the answer? Can you tell me the answer, please? Any answer? Any answer? Do you have any idea where I can buy a ticket for the bus? Maybe, teacher, 
Yeah. Uh, you can buy the uh, ticket, the uh, a ticket for the bus and the bus station. You can buy <clears throat> in bus station. You can buy in bus station. Okay. Do you have another another answer? Another? I need your participation. Please remember that. Your participation is very important. You can buy in the in bus station. ¿Cuál puede ser otra respuesta? You can buy um, online. You can buy online. You can buy online. Yes. Another? You can And buy in agency. Travel bus. Ah, okay. You can buy in travel agency. Okay. También podría ser no solo you can, cambiemos el verbo. Another verb, for example, could. Could, it means podría, right? You could buy. You could buy. Mm -hmm. You yeah. could buy in the, in, you could, you could buy in the bus station. In the bus station. Now, what about number two? I wanted to know if the apartment is still available. Si hay alguna palabra aquí que no entienda, please tell me. Yeah? But, I, but it is important your participation. I wanted to know if the apartment is still available. What is the meaning of available? Disponible. 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 What is the meaning of, of still? Todavía. 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 Yes, I wanted to know. Here we have an infinitive. Did you see? Infinitive. I wanted to know with this one. Infinitive, no two, two, okay? I wanted to know if the apartment is still available. What is the answer? Can you, you tell could, me? You could ask if, if the apartment is still available. Okay, I wanted to know if the apartment is still available. Okay, can be. Aquí podría ser una pregunta. ¿Qué podemos ah, hacer okay. acá? Okay, podríamos okay. hacer, dice, yo necesito saber si el apartamento está todavía disponible. ¿Cómo podemos eh, delegar a alguien? Deme una, una respuesta indirecta. Could ask. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, ¿Sería correcto decir, could you tell the contact number? Maybe, okay. uh, could you, can be this one. Could you ask? ask. Could you ask? Could you ask? Yes. To the owner? Maybe. Could you ask to the owner? ¿Puede, ¿Podría preguntarle al dueño? Yes. O, o inventa un nombre. Ok. Is, is possible, teacher, could you ask mm -hmm. uh, by the phone? Could you ask by the phone? Yes. Is possible. Yes. Yes, it's possible. Can be. Is, could you could tell you, by phone? Could you ask? Could you by ask? Phone. What else? By could phone. You, but, By phone. But, but someone. By phone. 
¿A dónde va a llamar o a quién? Could you ask? The owner. The owner. Could you ask to the owner? By phone. By phone? Yes. ¿Podría preguntarle al dueño por teléfono? Okay. Yes. What else? More opinions? If could you help me to get that information? Could you help me? To get to get more information. Okay, oh, yes. that more, more information. Could you help me to get more information? Yeah. Here we have. Oh, right. Could you help me to get more information? Okay, another. Another opinion. I need your participation because on the on in the platform there are uh, several exercises that include this topic. Me teacher. You okay? Tell me. Um, another example. I yeah? could you check in the application Airbnb if the apartment if this apartment is still uh, available? Okay. And how many uh, doors have it? Okay, let me see. Could you check what, please? Could you check in the application Airbnb? In the APP? No, Air. Airbnb. Airbnb. Airbnb application or Airbnb app. Air, Air. Airbnb. 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 It's okay. Let me see, you say, oh, okay. Airbnb, what is, is the name about what? Agency or something like that? It's an app, it's an application for the, ah, and then, for the reservations. Or... In the, okay, in the application, maybe. Here. Could you check in the application how many what? How many doors? have the apartment how many doors the apartment has the apartment have the apartment has have. because it's thing okay nice could you check in the application how many doors the apartment has okay teacher could Excellent. you check how many the apartment how much is the apartment could you check what how much is the apartment how much is the apartment, the apartment. yes okay now what about number three I was wondering whether a deposit is required. I was wondering whether a deposit is required. What is the meaning of I was wondering? Me preguntaba si. Sí. Me preguntaba si. Sí. Okay. Can you tell me one answer? Analyze the idea, right? Analice la, la, la oración y armemos, armemos la respuesta. I was wondering whether a deposit is required. Yes. Me preguntaba si un depósito es requerido. Required is requerido in Spanish. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. es, puede ser un depósito bancario, right? O si usted compra algo, a veces deja un depósito como garantía. Maybe, could you ask how much is? 
How much could you ask? How much? Uh, no, but in this case, how much is not or oh, can be. Let me see. Could you what? Could you ask? Could you ask? How much is? How much is it? How much is it? Yeah. Another? Another opinion? Another opinion, please? How much is it? Cuánto es? Could you ask if the deposit is refund? Could you ask if the deposit is refund? If the deposit is returned? Okay, it's a good idea. Another. Teacher, could you ask if if um, I can pay in cash or or credit card? If I can, if I can pay, if I can pay with with cash or credit card with credit card or cash. or cash okay another next i'd like to check if the doctor has any availability this week i'd like to check if the doctor has any availability this week here good is contract is con again here we have a contraction right i don't it's like good. It's, it's como, i would like it's good. yes it's good. i would like to checkar. check Me gustaría checkar. yes if the doctor has any availability this week mm -hmm. what is the meaning of availability disponibilidad Disponibilidad. Yes. What is the answer here? <clears throat> ¿Qué hacemos? Póngase en el lugar si es, si es suya la pregunta. Ok. Analyze the idea. Yo quiero saber, quiero chequear si el doctor tiene disponibilidad esta semana. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago? I, I could call. Could you, vamos a decirle de forma indirecta. Ah, ah, okay. Could, you, could you call? Ah, call, que okay, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Could you call eh, to the doctor or to the hospital? Or at hospital. Yeah, to the hospital or to the doctor. Mm -hmm. could, you, could you call or could you ask? Maybe, yes. Could you mm -hmm. ask? To the doctor. To the doctor. Oh, or his or her secretary, maybe. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Possible. What else? If the doctor. If the doctor has a has any availability this week. Has any availability. This week, why is important? What is important to put all the information? Porque si yo solo digo aquí, why you ask? And could you ask to the doctor? But what? I need a reason, right? Yes. And then it is important to complete a statement, could, okay. to complete question. Now, could you ask to the doctor, or his or her secretary? If the doctor has any availability this week, another? Can you tell me another answer? Um, 
Could I make uh, a reservation to see a doctor tomorrow? Could I make a reservation to see a doctor tomorrow? Only I, I, I listen. Let me see. Could I make a reservation? What? To see the doctor tomorrow? To see a doctor tomorrow? Okay. Here, in this case, mm -hmm. uh, is possible could I make a, um, appointment? appointment? An appointment. An appointment. Yes, yes it's possible. better. It's better because it's, it's a... It's a doctor. It's, yes. But it's better, but, but it's okay, reservation too. Okay. It can be an appointment. It's the same. Okay. Yes. Could okay. I make an appointment reservation? Or, you know, uh, could I get, maybe, could I get an appointment? An appointment to see a doctor tomorrow or with the doctor must be with the doctor tomorrow maybe yeah would i get an appointment with the doctor tomorrow yes pero aquí solo dice verdad podría obtener una cita con el doctor mañana Pero aquí sería, lo ideal sería que preguntar, ¿verdad? Could you ask? Va a preguntarle a quién, a, al doctor, a la secretaria o a quién, que si puede tener una cita mañana, ¿ya? Pero lo vamos a dejar así, this one. Now, another one. I was wondering if the meeting could be rescheduled. I was wondering if the meeting could be rescheduled. Or rescheduled. What is the what meaning? Is the mini rescheduled? Rescheduled is reprogramada. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Meeting. It's a meeting, meeting rescheduled. I was wondering if the meeting could be rescheduled. What could be the answer? Teacher, if possible, could I ask my boss? If the meeting could be rescheduled. Okay. Puede ser could o utilicemos también can porque solo el could hemos okay. utilizado. Ah, okay. 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 Can, can I was I, wondering the meeting. Okay. Can I ask uh, my boss? Can you? Can, can you, you ask? Uh, can you yeah. ask? Can you ask to my boss? To my what boss? else? Uh, if the meeting could be rescheduled, res what, what is the, the pronunciation? Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Or rescheduled. Ah, rescheduled. With the at the end. Rescheduled. Okay. Can okay. you ask to my boss if the meeting could be rescheduled? Or could be, yeah. Rescheduled. Yes. Next one. I'd like to ask if you could drive me to the airport. What is the possible answer? Possible answer. The next. Yes. Can I'll... you tell a taxi to the airport? Can you? Tell a taxi. Tell a taxi to going to the airport. In this case, is can you tell a taxi drive, drive me? Tell a taxi if drive me. If, drive if, me. if drive me. Can you tell a taxi drive me to the airport? Okay. Teacher, in okay, this zero. case, yes. In this case, uh, bear taxi driver. In, in this case, in these sentences, taxi driver. 
Yes. Taxi driver is, is the same. Oh, it's okay Taxi too. Driver. But drive it means manejar, right? But can be taxi driver. It's okay. Here, taxi driver. Can you tell? Can you tell what? Can you tell a taxi driver? Or can you tell if, if someone? A if a taxi driver. If if a maybe. Como le vamos a dar sentido a la oración, ¿verdad? Podría ser. Can you tell someone? Someone, someone what? Carry. Someone that. Puede preguntarle a alguien. Yeah. That. Dry me. Dry me. Drive me to the airport. Drive me to the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell someone? Puede preguntarle a alguien. Yeah. yeah? That. That drive me to the airport, right? Are you agree or disagree? It's good. Or can be that it's possible, can be that it's possible, drive me to the airport, can be. Can you tell someone that it's possible, drive me to the airport? Yes. Teacher, now, in, yes. It's possible in lugar de that, put if is possible. Put if. Put the poner. Yes, yes. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. Only that. Only that. That is better. Okay. Yes, okay. that is better. Yeah. Okay. Now, the last one. I'm not sure if you have time to help me with this project. I'm not sure if you have time to help me with this project. What is the answer? Only one answer. Can you ask? Can you ask? Can you ask? If you have time. If you have time. If you have time to help me with this project. With this project. Solo estoy tomando lo que me dijo. Va. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you ask if you have a time? But I ask to someone. Ah, yes. Can you ask someone? Some. Dice, I'm not sure if you have a time to help me with this project. Yo le digo a usted, no estoy segura si usted me puede ayudar con mi proyecto. ¿Ya? Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos el, el, lo, lo indirecto? Can, can, you ask, can you ask? Can you ask? Can you ask? Can you ask Anna? Yeah. Can you ask? Can Anna? you ask Anna if 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 she if, if she, she has if she has time to time help me with this project to help me this project? Excellent. Yes. Now, teacher, when I when I when I do in the in the platform uh, this kind exercise, it's very hard for me. Yes, it's it's hard, but it is very important to analyze the idea first and after. In your notebook, you write the information. Okay. It's better. Okay. But if you have any doubt, always you can contact me, right? Teacher. Okay, thank you. I teacher. help you. Okay. Excuse me. Jamie? Podría ponerla en grande. Quiero tomarle una captura, por favor. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Now.
Now continue with, with another exercise. Now, questions that introduce undirect questions. Estas se las puse acá porque son muy importantes para iniciar. Para iniciar eh, una, las preguntas indirectas. Por ejemplo, could, could I ask, puedo preguntar o puedo yo preguntar, can you check, puede chequear, can o could you tell me, can you tell me, puede decirme o could you tell me, podría decirme. Would you mind explaining? What is the meaning of would you mind? Te importaría. Te importaría, yes. Te importaría explicarme. Miren, would you mind explaining? Te importaría explicarme. Would you mind repeating? Te importaría repetirme. Would you mind repeating? O te importaría repetir. Would you mind clarifying? ¿Te importaría qué? ¿Clarifying? ¿Cuál es el meaning of clarifying? Aclarar. 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 Do you know? Yeah. Do you know, sabes? Do you have any idea? ¿Tienes alguna idea? Esos también son para eh, hacer preguntas indirectas. El do. Do you know? Do you have any idea? Can you remember? ¿Recuerda? ¿Puedes recordar? Do you remember? ¿Recuerda? ¿Lo recuerdas? ¿Lo recuerdas? Do you happen to know? Do you happen to know? Aquí esto es, significa ¿Sabes de casualidad, es? ¿sabes? This one. Do you happen to know? De casualidad, ¿sabes? This is the meaning. De casualidad, ¿sabes? Here we have another. Would you, would you happen to know? Would you happen to know? Por casualidad, ¿sabes? This one. Por ejemplo, Would you happen to know where is Salvador del Mundo? ¿Sabe por casualidad dónde es el Salvador del Mundo? Would you happen to know where Salvador del Mundo is? Yeah. Would you happen to know... Um, Metro Centro is? Yes. Así sería por casualidad, ¿sabes? ¿Dónde queda Metro Centro? Would you happen to know where's, where Metro Centro is? ¿Dónde es Metro Centro? Now, would, would it be possible? Would it be possible? ¿Sería posible? Would it be possible? ¿Sería posible? ¿Ya? Yeah. Todas esas ustedes pueden encontrar diferentes ideas para formular preguntas. ¿Ya? Yeah. Preguntas indirectas. Ok. After class, you can, cuando les mande, miren el, el, la información acá de la... Les mando el, el, el link de, de YouTube. Se pueden meter y copien. Copien todo esto que es muy importante. Eso les va a servir para que ustedes mismos practiquen. Because remember that practice is very important. Ok, teacher. Ok. Now, continue. Here we have another examples. Direct questions and indirect questions. First one. Where is Bernal Avenue? Bernal Avenue here in San Salvador. Where is Bernal Avenue? O Bernal Avenue? The answer Direct. is possible. Is possible Bernal Avenue is downtown San Salvador, for example. Yes, yes, it's okay. It's but okay. yes, but as an indirect question is Can you tell me where Bernal Avenue is? Okay. Can you tell me? Yes. 
El where is Bernal Avenue, yo digo, ay, ¿dónde será la avenida Bernal o dónde es la avenida de Bernal? Le digo a alguien o le digo a, 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 a Giselle, Giselle, can you tell me where Bernal Avenue is? Le estoy preguntando a ella, right? Que me diga dónde queda la avenida Bernal. My answer it will be, yes, I can, Bernal Avenue is. Near to downtown San Salvador, is possible? Yes, you can say okay. yes. Bernal Avenue is or is near to Metro Centro, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, second one. Are they coming with us? Are they coming with us? The and direct is. Do you know whether they are coming with us? What is the meaning of this sentence? Are they coming with us? Ellos vienen con nosotros. Ellos vienen con nosotros. Yes. Vienen ellos con nosotros. What is the indirect? Do you know? Sabes si ellos vienen con nosotros? Whether, miren, whether they are coming. ¿Por qué aquí no es el, es el verbo en gerundio y no en, en presente? Porque la oración se trata de una acción en el momento. Dice, they are, are they coming with us? with us? ¿Están viniendo con nosotros? ¿Sabes, ¿Sabe usted si ellos están viniendo con nosotros? Porque es una acción en el momento, right? Por eso va coming here. Now, next one. Did you finish the report? Did you finish the report? And direct is, I was wondering if you finished the report. I was wondering if you finished the report. Next one. Can you help me move on Saturday? Is there any change you could help me move on Saturday? Is there, hay alguna oportunidad, if there any change, hay alguna oportunidad que pueda ayudarme a moverme el sábado? Is there any change you could help me move on Saturday? Here is indirect, right? Now, do you have any questions for this information? Or can I, or can I continue? Is clear. Here we have another example. Here. Okay. Did you remember this information yesterday? Yeah, Ayer hicimos yeah. este ejercicio y quedamos pendientes que iban a hacer el 3, ¿verdad? Yo se los puse aquí también el 3, lo que yo... La, mis ideas. No sé quiénes lo hicieron el 3 para que nos digan qué pusieron. Liz. Me teacher. Okay. Number three is, could I speak to Alex, please? I'm sorry, but he's not here right now. Oh, okay. This is Mr. Tood. I'd like to leave a message. Could yeah? you tell, my answer is, mm -hmm. could you tell him not to forget to bring his laptop, please? Not forget bring, okay. Let me hear. Could you? Okay. Could you? Let me see. I don't have the space. The no space. Okay. Voy a um, vamos a eliminar esto. Okay. Could you repeat, please? Could you what? Could you tell him? Could you? Not Tell, tell him, him not to forget. Not forget. Not forget to yeah. bring. Not his forget laptop. to bring his, his laptop. laptop. Yes. Okay. And the this second, in the second? In the second, could you remember him that tomorrow? Could you remember him? 
think that tomorrow that tomorrow we have to do our we, home. we have we will have we will have to do to do our homework our homework, our homework. in his laptop only only to do our homework in his laptop his laptop Yes. Could you remember him that tomorrow we will have to do our homework in his laptop? Okay. Another another opinion. A teacher, yo hice mm -hmm. una, pero no sé si está bien. Okay. Could you tell him to ca to can me today? Let me let me just a minute, please. That I need, I need, I need more space. Okay, tell me your example. What? What is? Could you, could you tell him? Yeah. To can me today. Could you tell him? To can me today. To pay me or to call me. Ah, uh, I don't know. Ajá, uh -huh, esa. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Tío. Ah, call me today. Lo voy a copiar así como usted me lo diga, después le damos forma. Yeah. Okay. Could you tell him to call me today? What? Mm, please. If finished. Okay. okay, this. Could you tell him? Aquí podría ser that. Aquí podemos usar el that, miren. Could you tell him that okay. if it's possible, call me, call me today, please. Okay. Could you tell him that if it's possible, call me today, please? It's okay or no? Yes, it's okay. Yes, okay. Do you have any another idea? Or can I continue with next exercise? Okay, continue. Now, another important exercise. Aquí les he puesto otras también para que, aquí les he puesto mezclado para que lo analicemos juntos. Here. Here we have another, another examples. Where does she play tennis? Where does she play tennis? What is indirect? Can you tell me where she plays tennis? Yeah? This is direct and this is indirect. Where does she play tennis? Is direct, right? Because it's my question. But as and direct is, can you tell me where she plays tennis? Yeah. Teacher, I have Maybe. a question. Yeah. When I, when I do a uh, and direct sentence, uh, always I use only you. Repeat, please. When I, when I, cuando yo hago una oración indirecta, mm -hmm. siempre voy a usar el you, o sea, de otra persona, siempre. No siempre, depende de lo que diga, porque si aquí yo digo, este, eh, dice aquí. ¿Dónde ella juega tenis? ¿Dónde juega tenis? Entonces mm -hmm. aquí podría decirle, can you ask, can you ask her where, where does she play tenis? Ok. It's different, right? Yes. Aquí le decimos, pregúntele, que le pregunte a quién, a ella, ¿verdad? Yes. Puede, o aquí sería, que me equivoqué, can you, can you, can, can you ask her, mire, puede usted preguntarle dónde, dónde juega tenis. Ok. Ya, yeah? in this case it's different, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depende, porque usted le dice, eh, puede preguntarle... Pues, si le quiere preguntar a otra persona, porque no quiere que ella sepa, 
podría Ajá. ser, digamos, Can you ask Mary? Le vamos a poner. Can you ask Mary? Where does she play tennis? Okay. ¿Dónde juega ella? O si, o si es otra persona, aquí le podremos poner. Digamos que es una tercera persona o una cuarta. Can you ask Mary where does Anna play tennis? Mm -hmm. okay. Ya. Yeah. Where yeah. does Anna play tennis? Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's Thank okay. You teacher for explaining. Okay. You're welcome. Now. Next one. Is she hungry? What is the indirect? Can you tell me if she is hungry? For example, if I say, is, is Elizabeth hungry? Yes? Is Elizabeth hungry? And the indirect is. is. Tell me. I ask. Is possible is I ask her or is 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 you ask her? Is, like this. Is, is you she, ask her? Is Así? you ask her? Uh -huh. is if, you ask, if. If. If or is. Uh -huh. If. If. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If. If you ask. No, only only you. No, no, no. it's bad. If delete, delete if. Oh, okay. And then you uh, what? Could, can you can you ask her? Is she hungry? Is she hungry? Hungry? Is this possible, teach? Let me see. Can you ask her, is she? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, because can you ask her? Pregúntele si Ay. está hambrienta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you ask her? ¿Puede preguntarle si, si está hambrienta? Yes, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, another, what, what is it? Can you tell me what? What this is? Yeah, ¿qué es esto? Can you tell me what this is? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Puede decirme qué es esto? Ya. Yeah. Las indirect siempre va a ser con Teacher. el can, con el could. Tell me. And can you ask me what is what this is? Is correct. What is this? What is this? Yeah. What this is? Can you ask? Can you ask me what this is? Is correct. Can you tell me what is this? No. Okay. Okay, it's thanks. Ask. Yes. Can you tell me what is this? Yeah. Thanks. Is possible, teacher. Can you show me? Can you show me what is this? Can you show me? Show me. Show me. Show me what is this. Yes. Yes. Can you show me what is this? Yes, it's, it's, it's okay. Okay. Okay, now, the last exercise for today. Um, but, es largo, pero lo vamos a hacer rapidito. Solo tenemos dos minutos. O oh, no sé si quieren que se los envíe. Solo este, llegamos rapidito. Okay. Rewrite these sentences. Find another way to say each sentence using the words given. Dice que eh, reescriba la, esas oraciones. Encuentre otra forma de decir cada oración usando las palabras dadas. ¿Cuáles son las words given? Son estas, miren. El good, el wonder, el could, el when y el mine. Now, in number, number one is an example. Can I use your cell phone? Is, here the, the answer. Would it be okay if I use your cell phone? 
Now, what about number two? In number two, please ask Penny to stop by and talk to me. What is the answer? Could you ask? Could, would you, you, ask, ask Penny, would you ask Penny to stop, Penny by, to stop to by and talk to me? In number number two. Okay, sería aquí. Vamos a utilizar el good, ¿verdad? Sería. Would you, would you ask? Ask. Please ask. Would you ask? Porque llevamos would el please, please, miren. Okay. Would you ah, please okay. ask Penny? Penny uh -huh. to stop by and talk to me. To stop by, to stop by and talk to me. Excellent. What about number three? Could I borrow your guitar? Could I borrow your guitar? You wonder. I was wondering if what else? If I could borrow your guitar, your guitar, your guitar, yes, your guitar. This is not, it's not a question. Number four, would you ask Adam what time he's coming over? Could and when, or could and when? Cualquiera de los dos. Can be number four. Could you ask Adam when he's coming over? Coming over? Yes. Dice. Podría preguntarle a Adam. ¿A qué hora vendrá? Could you ask Adam when he's coming over? When es cuando, ¿verdad? ¿O a qué hora? ¿A qué hora vendrá? Now, number five, the last one. Let, let me you your hairbrush. Hair hair hairbrush. Hairbrush. Could you lend me? Could you lend me? Could you? Could you, could you mine? Uh, could you yes, mine. Mine because mind? this is the, the ah, worst okay. here. Would you mind, you mind if lend me lending your lending me, lending me your hairbrush? Hairbrush. Brush. Okay. ¿Por qué el verbo gerundio? Porque es mine. And after mine, always mm -hmm. next verb is in gerund, right? Exactly. Would you mind lending me your hairbrush? Okay. Now, this is our finish. Ok, this is our finish. ¿Quieren que les mande el ejercicio que quedó pendiente para que lo hagan en su casa? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes okay. teacher. Vaya, se lo voy a enviar. Yes. Eh, algo, algo importante, por favor no se les olvide que el lunes no tenemos clase por ser holiday. Que festivo, right? Okay. Okay. La clase la próxima semana la vamos a tener de martes a viernes. Porque okay. el día lunes lo vamos a reponer el viernes. Perfecto. Y, y ahí recuerden que normalmente es los días viernes que reciben sus, sus tareas de la plataforma. Pero ahí vi un mensaje en el grupo que decía que ahora lo van a revisar. Entonces, si les es posible, mándenlo ahora. Si no, mañana tempranito. Todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Y si tienen dudas, díganme. He recibido varios, varios comentarios que les está costando, pero les estoy ayudando, explicándoles cómo va y por qué. Right? Okay. Y lo hacen de una vez para enviarlo. Okay. Perfect, teacher. Yeah. Okay. And then, see you on Monday. Ah, no, on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> yes. Have a nice night. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. 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 B